Hello, Charlie Zorro here. Welcome to part 8 of our Creating a Housing Alt series. This is a video that I expect everybody has been looking forward to. In this video, we are actually going to use your Housing Alt to purchase a home for your main character. Now, to do this, you're going to need to log in not only your Housing Alt, but also the main character. Turbine allows you to do this off the launcher. You'll want to go to the launcher, go to options, and there's going to be an option that says allow multiple game instances. You must have that checked to be able to do this. So check your launcher, make sure that's checked, and then go ahead and log in both your main and your housing alt. Now I'm going to start here with my housing alt. I'm in the neighborhood that I wish to uh, that I wish to purchase the home from. It's the Gunland neighborhood in the Fathalon homestead. Okay, there's Amandia. She's my main. Now this is a standard home, so if you take a look at the sign, it'll indicate that the price is one gold piece. Now of course my alt doesn't have that much money. But that's okay, she'll be getting it from my main. Now, if you decide that you want a deluxe home, then you're going to run into a, a little bit of a snag because there's a gold limit on free-to-play accounts. What you'll need to do is go into the store. Let's see if we can do it right now. Go into the store and take a look at, look up, gold cap. There we go. You're going to want to purchase a currency cap. The current price is 395 turbine points. Chances are your alt doesn't have 395 points. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go up to add points and actually purchase the lower quantity. So you're going to want to purchase the base 500 points. It's going to cost you $7.99 and it will make your account from a free-to-play into a premium. But that's okay, you'll have to do it if you want a deluxe home. In this case I'm going to stay with the standard home. So what I want to do is I want to move over by Amandia and I need to get the gold from her. So we're going to switch screens and switch over to Amandia and we're going to do a secure trade. Okay, and now you'll want to switch back to accept the trade. All right. Go back to your main and send them. Okay, I do apologize for this. Um, there were some technical difficulties and I didn't realize that the video had actually stopped while I was continuing on. So unfortunately at this stage, um, Amandia has purchased the house. So uh, let me, let me kind of catch us up to where we were. In essence, um, after your alt receives the funds, then she'll want to go ahead and purchase the house, go into the controls. So you're going to have the housing management, go to permissions, and in the permissions you're going to want to add your main character. So in this case my main character is Amandia. You want to add a, add your character and then under permissions you're going to want to go through and click or check every box. Okay. So once you've done that you can switch over to your main And so now I'm in Atmandia's and you want to go in, 
make sure that you can get in the house. Okay, and once you're in the house, click on Housing Management, Permissions, just to make sure that everything is set up the way that it should be. Then go into the Decoration Mode, and you should see where you can go ahead and add all of your housing decoration. So at this point, your main has full permissions for your house, including storage. So we can go ahead and go back out. There are a couple limitations that I want you to be aware of. The main limitation is you will not be able to use the mailbox. The mailbox can only be used by the actual owner of the house, which in this case, unfortunately, is your alt. So if you want to use a mailbox, you'll need to either go to uh, the kinship house if you have one or more likely um, there's a mailbox down with the auction house or not auction house the um, uh, vault master and the housing brokers and all that down in the main area of your of your um, your homestead the other limitation is you don't or I should say your main doesn't get a teleport to your house only your alt does so if we go back over to the alt okay down on sorry down in the uh, the quick slot you'll see where she has a travel to personal house and your main will not unfortunately again this is a limitation of this type of system what I recommend doing is going out to the front of the homestead and basically using their milestone, tagging one of your milestones to theirs so that you can easily use a milestone to get back to your homestead. It's a pain, uh, can be expensive if you don't have a free milestone, but it's well worth it. So other than that, you should have full control or your main should have full control over your house that's basically it so oh one thing I want to show you before I leave let's run out and run back in and I'll show you what it looks like as far as the house name goes let's see if I'm gone far enough there we go home of Amandia so even though my character is spelled a M a it's close enough for government work so I hope you enjoyed the series if you'd like it uh, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so if you have any questions by all means leave a comment I'll be happy to help and happy happy housing so until next time safe journeys and take care